For most people, you'd think that creating one ubiquitous text renderer for Game Maker would be enough, but perhaps that's why most people aren't Juju Adams. Hello, all the crazy people out there. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. And let's talk about Scribble Jr. Yes, that's really what it's called. So, if you've ever wanted the uh, the basic effects that uh, Juju Adams Scribble text renderer gives you, such as inline color changes and some uh, smarter text wrapping than Game Maker's default text wrapping. But maybe you don't need all the fancy bells and whistles that come with the main Scribble project. Well, we now have a spin-off version of Scribble known as Scribble Jr., which is, as the name suggests, a, uh, a cut-down version of Scribble which only contains the bare essential feature set, but in return is much, much more efficient to use. For now, I'm going to just show off some basic use of it. Uh, go to the GitHub repository for Scribble Jr. I will have that linked down in the description of this video. Uh, go to the releases tab. Currently, the current release is 1.2.2 beta. Um, we can go and uh, show that in Windows Explorer. Uh, we can go and um, let me close my um, my original project. Uh, drag that into Game Maker over here. Uh, yes, I would like to import the asset package. And uh, let's add all. And now Scribble Jr. is a part of our project. All right, project tool, uh, go away. So if you're not familiar with the main Scribble extension, I've made several videos on that in the past. Uh, basic use of it would look something like this. You create a Scribble object like this, containing the text string that you want to, um, that you want to draw. Uh, you can uh, hold on to this object, and then you can call the draw method on it, which will draw it on the screen. And you can do all kinds of other things with it. Um, you can, of course, apply some inline um, effects such as the, uh, the shake effect for shaking text, maybe some, some color codes for color text, and this will create a, um, this will create a scribble, which is drawn with some shaking text effect and some color change effects. That's, uh, that's pretty fantastic. I'm not going to get into the main scribble feature set today. Anyway, Scribble Jr., on the other hand, works in a similar way. So, uh, as I said, this can coexist in your project alongside the main Scribble extension as a um, more efficient uh, version of more or less the same thing. Uh, I can say Jr. is going to equal Scribble... Uh, scribble Jr. Uh, let's just start with the, uh, the basic one. Um, so Jr. equals Scribble Jr. No new, this is not a constructor. Uh, we can pass this a string. Something like this. I'm going to full screen this window. And let us say junior, uh, dot draw. I believe this is going to be a method with a capital D draw for its name. I don't know why uh, Gigi decided to make one capitalized, one lowercase, but there you have it. We can draw this at, say, 200, maybe 300, and... If I run this now, uh, we are going to have, we're going to have both lines of code, both uh, scribble objects being drawn on the screen. So that on its own isn't very interesting. So one of the hallmark scribble effects is the ability to do things such as changing the color of text in line. Um, we can do this by saying something like C underscore red, um, surrounding, the, uh, surrounding the section of code that you want to um, to turn red, and this is something that you might expect to turn part of this sentence red. Uh, but unfortunately, um, it does not, at least not the way we have it set up right now. So there's a couple different um, there's a couple different Scribble Junior uh, constructor functions which you can find if you open up the uh, the folder of the extension. And the main one, the base one, is just for um, just for drawing plain text without any formatting whatsoever. Um, if you wanted a um, a version of the Scribble Junior um, like text drawing functions that uh, that do support things like inline color changes. Uh, you can use the Scribble Junior extended function instead, and this will give us uh, this will give us colored text. All right, that's pretty fantastic. Uh, however, let's see if you try to apply something like a shake effect. Uh, to this text, the shake effect will not be parsed. Uh, shake is not part of the Scribble Junior feature set. 
Uh, the tag won't be included in the string, which is perhaps good if you make a mistake and forget about that, but uh, the shake effect will not be applied to the text because Scribble Jr., as I said, is a cut down version of the, um, the feature set of the main thing, it does not include any of the weirder text effects like that. Uh, you can also, and I don't believe I've actually had the foresight to set this up ahead of time, but um, if you want inline sprites, let's call it that like SPR coin or something like that. And let me just make something that's vaguely coin shaped. Hang on. All right, that's a, a yellow circle with a slightly darker yellow outline. That's vaguely coin shaped. Um, if you wanted to, uh, say, embed that sprite in the middle of a string, uh, you could use the SPR coin tag with the uh, just the name of the sprite uh, in like Scribble. I feel like Scribble Deluxe is a really weird name, but that's what Juju ended up going with. Um, I guess I'll call it Scribble Senior because that won't be confusing at all. Uh, you could attempt to do the same thing in Scribble Junior, and that should also likewise draw a coin sprite in the middle of the line of text. So you can have inline text effects like this, inline sprites, trying to, uh, like doing something like drawing a coin sprite in place of a currency symbol in games is not, is definitely not an uncommon thing to want to do if you're talking to like a shopkeeper NPC or something like that. So if you're interested in using Scribble or Scribble Junior for that purpose, uh, that's all well and good. And the, uh, the last thing or the last set of things that Scribble Junior will do is take care of font alignment, wrapping, and size. So um, let, me, uh, let me go and extend Let me go and extend this text string just a little bit. Actually, you know what? To make this more readable. Say that to a variable there. Anyway, we have the option to set the horizontal alignment, the vertical alignment, the font, which I also don't have any special fonts set up in this, uh, in this demo program, but you can uh, change the font that a scribble is drawn with. Uh, in, in Junior's case, it's only per text element. Uh, you can't change fonts in the middle of a sentence or anything like that. And the, uh, the scale. Um, in, my, uh, in my little demonstration case here, I guess I'm going to go with the center middle for font alignment. Um, I don't really feel like setting up another font in this, um, in this example here. You can probably guess how this is going to work. I'm just going to leave that undefined for the default one. Uh, the font scale, should I say, how about two? And I don't think this is going to do anything on its own unless I, well, it'll, you'll be able to see the center alignment if I, uh, if I do just this. But uh, if I include a line break backslash n in the middle of there, we should have, um, ah, I see, that seems to be a bug. I feel like that's a bug because I saw it draw with the line break for one frame and then it like collapsed itself. So that's fun. Anyway, I believe line breaks should work. Um, they just don't right now. Anyway, that sort of leads into the, uh, the last thing that I really wanted to talk about in this video, which is the Scribble Junior Fit, or the Scribble Junior Fit Extended function, which will create a Scribble text element, which um, this will automatically set up text wrapping for you. Uh, let's have a width of, say, 400 and a height of, say, also 400, so I'll draw a... Um, I'll draw the text in a 400 by 400 box uh, to preserve my sanity when I'm looking at this so that I can see visually where things are. I'm going to go back to fa underscore left, fa underscore top for the text alignment. Um, I'm going to draw a rectangle uh, from 200, 300 to 200 plus 400, uh, 300 plus 400, which will be the bounds of the text that we're drawing here, and I'm just gonna draw a, a white rectangle around that. Anyway, uh, what I was getting at, Scribble Junior Fit Extended or Scribble Junior Fit are going to make the, um, make the text that you draw wrapped so that it fits inside this text box. Um, I believe if you shrink the, if you shrink the text box that it's fit to, um, it will, I wanna say it will actually squish all right, so if you shrink the text box, it's actually going to squish down so that it fits um, inside the bounds, which is a little bit different from the uh, the normal like fit to box method in normal Scribble, which will just like cut it off after a certain point if it overflows. 
Um, let's see. If I just draw this at like a 1x scale instead of a, instead of a 2x scale, this is going to, uh, it's going to fit more nicely, isn't it? It looks like there is a bit of an error um, in when wrapped text changes color. Was that there in, um, in the regular, the regular draw, um, like without the wrapping? I don't remember. Hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, that will be fixed. Anyway, lastly, there is Scribble Jr. Shrink, uh, which does something similar. And, um, I actually thought initially before I tested this this morning that, uh, Scribble Jr. Shrink did what Scribble Jr. Fit did, but it looks like instead this is going to shrink it so that the entire line fits horizontally in the, um, in the assigned width. So, um, that's fine. I'm just going to go back to, I think, Scribble Jr. Extended and we can get rid of all of the, the extra arguments that I'm not really making use of now. Okay. So one last thing before I end this off is the matter of performance. I mentioned that this is faster than the regular Scribble and I'd like to just, um, show off some, uh, shall we call them synthetic benchmarks, uh, to end the video. So I'm going to say, uh, no, not GPU. Um, man, what was it? Show debug overlay. And I'm just going to start, uh, I'm just going to set that to true so that we have a little debug overlay being drawn. Um, if I were to, let's do a double for loop over the room every, uh, every 32 square pixels. Uh, if I were to just, for example, draw text at uh, i, j, and the string being the string that we have up here, uh, one, we're not gonna get any like red inline text formatting or anything. Two, this is not gonna perform super well. Um, we're going to run the game now and I am getting about, say, 140 FPS from drawing all this. It's a, it's a lot. Admittedly, this is definitely uh, not something you'd ever do in an actual game, but that's still a big hit for just drawing text a couple hundred times. Um, if I were to if I were to instead create myself that little scribble there and scribble dot draw uh, i j in that uh, inner for loop, I want to say in general uh, this is going wow that uh, that sprite. In general, if you're using fancy text effects, this will also be fairly heavy. Um, in my case, that's actually lower than the built-in draw text, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. I don't know if I were to get rid of that SPR coin, if it would be dramatically improved. But, um, okay, you know what? I will get rid of that and I will retest them because I want this to be like for like, I want this to be a little more of a fair comparison. So what did we say? 150, 160 FPS and, um, I'm drawing the inline sprite with scribble, it's going to be... Okay, we'll call it 60. That's actually also pretty bad. Scribble Jr. Um, if I were to draw this instead at those coordinates, uh, we're instead going to see a very much improved performance. Uh, that's hard to read because it's right in the middle of a line, but that looks like about 300 or so FPS real. Um, if you were to use the, uh, the bare bones version that doesn't do text effects, you would see even slightly faster performance. Uh, let's see, we're seeing about 400, 500 now on my computer using the version that doesn't do anything like, um, uh, inline color changes or anything like that or any of the other things. So that's definitely very fast. It's much faster than vanilla scribble. It's much faster than game makers built in draw text. If you have a game that features a lot of text that you want to be able to draw, to draw very cheaply, or if you're uh, perhaps even more so doing something like developing a game for a mobile phone, and you want to be able to draw text very cheaply, and maybe you do need some inline color changes or something like that, but you don't need the whole the whole um, big fat feature set of Scribble Senior. Um, using Scribble Junior for this would definitely be a very good idea. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can even have these two extensions coexist in the same project as I'm doing right now. And it's also entirely possible, I believe this was the original way that Juju pitched this to us, or at least the first thing that I remember hearing about it was if you have something like NPC dialogue that does use some of the fancier text effects such as shaking or wave or rainbow, or my favorite, all three. But you also have, for example, menu code, which might have like a bunch of text strings being drawn on the same screen at once. 
that don't need any fancy formatting, don't need any fancy um any fancy effects. Maybe you want like a color change if you want to indicate that like a stat is going to go up or something like that, or a stat is has been lowered or raised or something like that. That would be the situation in the same game where you would want to use something like Scribble Jr. Anyway, I think that's all I have. Oh, you know, one last thing before I go. Uh, if you open the setup folder in the Scribble Jr. extension folder, uh, you can see that there are quite a few uh, configuration functions that you're allowed to use. Uh, things like caching font info, if you want to uh, pre-process fonts before doing anything with them with Scribble. Uh, to make them slightly faster. This is actually fairly well documented. I didn't realize that Juju had written like an entire big old essay for all of these functions. Uh, you can, of course, add color if you want uh, Scribble Jr. to recognize your own custom colors. Um, the main Scribble project has a uh, similar function. Set default font, set default character wrap, set things like that. Uh, you, can, um, you can configure those. There's not quite as much configuration as Scribble Senior, but good to have all the same. I'm going to end this off here. Uh, let me know if you have a use for this. Let me know if you uh, import it into your game alongside Scribble Senior and how that goes for you. I have not actually um, had the chance to sit down and use this in Wizard Ducks yet because I have been working on other things, but uh, there are some places where there is a lot of, for example, text and menus in that game, and I probably would, um, probably would benefit from making use of it there. I hope you all find this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Vitro V, Square Crow, Manta Ray, Game Maker, Edward Holt, and DJ Gibbles for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.